Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praises to Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Raka Kwadash. The blunders unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. You know, I'm running this truth. Shalom to all the Aki. I'm pushing this truth in our sincerity and our honesty to the awful elect. Basically, uh, just meditating on something, man. You know, we see, you know, the prophets, the true prophets of Yahweh Shem Shai, you know, which are, you know, um, the Israelites, man, that are out on the highways and the byways, you know, teaching the word, pushing this truth, you know. Um, you know, we see prophecies, you know, which are given to us, you know, in the scriptures, slowly coming to pass, man. You know, we see um, a lot of prophecies coming to pass as we speak, you know. Um, you know, the prophets have spoken about many things to come, you know, and uh, it's actually coming to pass. That's why it just goes to show that the Israelites... Right, all the true prophets, man. You know, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, who are out here on the house and the byways, pushing this truth and teaching these prophecies, man. You know, things like, you know, um, inflation and gas prices, you know, going up, the inflation, all of these things are going to lead to the economy crashing, you know. Uh, for years, the prophets have been, you know, prophesying about, you know, um, you know, this economic crash that we see. The, the, the value of the, the, the US dollar, you know, over a period of time has been decreasing. And more recently, the value of the pound has dropped significantly, man. Okay? And these are all things that are going to lead into, right, the, um, the economic crash. Because they're doing this to bring in their, 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 their cashless system, man, you know, which is already here. You know, they just need to fully, fully roll it out. You know, and I just want to get one precept I literally on my way on to the plantation right now. So I was just walking there. You know, I said, I just thought about it. And I said, I'm going to listen. I'm just going to do uh, read uh, this precept. is Ezekiel 2. I'm going to start from verses um, uh, 3. He says, And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day and you know we're living in a time now of captivity because of our disobedience because we've brought the laws and the commandments of Yahweh Bashim al Shaiman right so obviously same way Ezekiel right was a you know prophet you know teaching a word the same way are today you know Yahweh Bashim al Shai set up prophets you know to teach his prophecies man okay and it says verses um four for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do see, send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord thy power. Okay? So the prophets, you know, were sent to teach, you know, the word of the Lord, man. You know, they're not teaching of their own, um, or they're not teaching of their own accord. They're not teaching their own, you know, um, opinions. You know, they're doing, you know, according to the word of the Lord, man. You know, and it says, and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. So what did he say? He said, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. So, you know, and that's the prophet's job, man. That's what they were doing, man. Teaching the word. You know, they had a lot of people that, you know, scoff, talk rubbish. You know, a lot of people that curse out the prophets. You know, there are people that hear and there are also people that, you know, forbear, you know, people that don't want to take, you know, take heat. But this is the point. It says, For they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that they have been a prophet among them. Yet shall they know that they have been a prophet among them. And that's what's going to happen, man. When all these major prophecies start kicking in, that's when they're going to realize, oh, the guys on the side of the road that was teaching out the Bible, they were actually prophets, man. You know, but by then it's going to be too late, man. You know, you know, they're giving us the name of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, and a lot of people don't want to believe it. You know, but it said in Baruch 2 that in the land of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves. That's how we remember your Israelites now. You know, and, and, and with that, we're giving prophecies to teach, man. We're giving the name of the Lord. So people want to call on different, different names, man. Hey, when all hell start breaking loose, when Jacob's trouble comes, 
you know, we'll see, we'll see what name is going to help you, man. Is it Jesus or Jeho Jesus and Jehovah or Yeshua, you know, or is it Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? You know, um, I'm going to get Baruch to, I'm going to get this one more priest up and I'm going to close it. This is Baruch 2, I'm going to go to verses, uh, it says, verse 29, Baruch 2 verse 29, it says, if you will not hear my voice, this is talking about the children of Israel, if you will not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. That's what happened to our people, man. We were scattered among all these other nations, man. Now we're a small number, right? That was a prophecy that came to pass, okay? Verse 34, I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in, land, in the land of their captivity, they shall remember themselves. This was happening now, right? This prophecy is coming to pass right now because we're remembering who we are. You know, we forgot who we are, but now we're remembering who we are. Remember, we're Israelites. Right? Remember, you know, that, you know, we're not no Negro. You know, we're not no um, black man or black woman. We know that we're Israelites, man. Right? And it says, um, And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear. So at the end of the day, is your help us, you know, shut up, you know, open up our mind to understand these prophecies, man. So not everyone will get it. It's only who's meant to get it, which are the elect. Um... This is a uh, 32. So like, yeah, this is 32. And it says, And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. That's right. That's what's happening now. We're remembering the name of Yahweh Bashim El Shai. You know? Well, that's the name we're praising, man. You know? So at the end of the day, man, they're going to realize that, you know, the prophets that was calling on Yahweh Bashim El Shai on the highways and the byways, we were actually the prophets of the Lord. When I, when I was reading in Ezekiel 2, what did he say? They sh yet they shall know that they have been a prophet among them. Right? So when these prophecies start coming to pass, like the major prophecies, they're going to realize, man. And if they ain't taking heed and done what they need to do, man, it's going to be too late. You know? It's going to be too late for them. You know, so that's what I wanted to get, man. You know, just a quick one. With that, I'm going to say... Our praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rukak Wadash, the blenders unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I'm learning this truth until next time. I'm going to say Shalom.